This week's tip, I'm going to show you how to answer this question from the data.world discussion for Makeover Monday, week nine. In this particular data set, we have from 1970 to 2015, a list of countries and, the, and some different economic freedom indices. The question here is, we'd like to get the difference from the first to the last year for each country, regardless of what year it is. So let's look at that question in a bit more detail. So over in Tableau, let's go ahead and connect to our data source, which is a Microsoft Excel, and it's the economic freedom data set. So I'm going to read that into Tableau and just go ahead and go to my sheet. And you'll see I've got countries, years, and then some codes and things like that, and a bunch of indexes. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my years to discrete, so it makes it a bit easier to build a table. So for each country, we can see that we have the years 1970 to 2015. And when I put summary index on there to build a table, you notice how Albania's first year is 1990 and their last year is 2015. But for Algeria, the first year is 1980 and the last year is 2015. And for Angola, it's 2005 to 2015. So what we first need to do is we need to eliminate the nulls. So to do that, we're going to create a calculated field, and let's call this remove nulls. I'm just going to use the is null function, and I'm just going to put summary index in between. So this is just going to tell me yes or no, is the summary index null? So let's hit OK, and let's see what this does. So I'm going to just remove that into the table as well. And you'll notice how all of my indexes that are null come back as true. So I want to exclude the trues. So let's go ahead and or actually we can just keep the falses either way. All right, and now you can see we have the just the years that apply for each country. Great. So now what we need to do is we need to return the value for the first year and the value for the last year for each country. So in other words, for, in other words, for Albania, we want to return 4.395 and 7.544. And then for Algeria, we want to return 4.071 and 4.843. So we can do that with level of detail expressions. So let's start by creating a new calculated field. And we'll call this first year index. And what we're going to do is we're going to, here we're going to say if the year is equal to, and now we want to use our level of detail expression. So we start with a mustachio, and I'm going to put fixed at the country level. So this is saying for each country, return the minimum year. Okay, so in other words, for Albania, this is going to return, if I scroll up, this will return 1990. For Algeria, it'll return whatever year that was, 2000 or 1980, and so on and so forth. That's what this level of detail expression is going to do here. And we close it with a mustachio. So we're saying if the year is equal to the minimum year for each country, then we want the summary index end. Otherwise, don't return anything. So we'll just put an end and hit OK. And now let's put that in the view. And what you'll see here is I did something wrong. Well, you notice how it's not showing up, right? That's because we need to actually, uh, we want this nulls filter. So let me remove this actually first. And you'll notice what it's doing is it's actually returning a null for each country because 1970 has the value of null and that's the first year. So if I scroll down to a year, so here's a good example here. So Argentina has a value for 1970, so it's 3.861. So what we need to do is we need to kind of work with Tableau's um, order of operations. So again, I'm going to switch this back to keep only the falses for the nulls. And now we want that filter to be applied before the level of detail expression evaluates. So let's click on the little triangle next to remove to the remove nulls on the filter and add that to context. And now what that's saying is first get rid of the nulls and then do our level of detail expression. So now you can see we've got our 4.395, our 4.073, and so on and so forth. So now we want to repeat that to get the last value. So I'm just going to duplicate this, uh, the calculation we just created and edit this one. And let's call it last year index. 
And now this time, instead of having a min inside the level of detail expression, we're going to get a max. So now we're saying for each country, return the maximum year. And then compare that to the year. And if they're the same, return the summary index. So now we've got last year. So let's put that in the table as well. And now you'll see, let me just rearrange these a bit here. So we can see we have our first year and our last year. Great. So now what we want to do is we just want to get the difference between these. Okay, so that means we need to remove year from the, from the view. We need to remove summary index from the view. And we're left with the first and last year values. So now it's just a simple calculation. So I'll call this difference uh, between first, or, or maybe we'll just call it uh, change from first, something like that. And all we're going to do is we're just going to take the uh, last year index and subtract the first year index. Hit OK. And now I'm going to put that in the view. And uh, oh, OK, we did that wrong. So I need to actually wrap both of these in a sum. And hit apply. And that broke that. So let's actually put that back in the view. And there we go. So now we have 3.15, which is the difference between 7.54 and 4.39. So we have the values we're looking for. So now we could take these measures out. We can move the, the change. Oops. Let's move the change to the columns, sort it in descending order. And now we have a, uh, you know, a nice ranked bar chart from the biggest change to the smallest change. Maybe we duplicate that onto the color shelf and we get something like that as we go down. OK, so the last thing I would do here is uh, we've got minus signs in front of our in front of our negative numbers and we've got just the, just the numbers on the positive side. So I, I would actually change. Uh, my default number formats for for this. And I want it to be a number to uh, two decimals. And then I'm going to go down to custom, and I'm just going to stick a little plus sign on the positive side. And what you'll see now is when we hover over, we see a minus sign. We go up here, and we see a plus sign, something like that. OK, so maybe the last thing we want to do then is maybe we want to sh only show the top 10 and the bottom 10. OK, so how can we do that? So let's uh, let's create uh, top or bottom 10. And what we want to do here is we want to say if uh, we want to say last oops, is uh, less than 10 or first is less than 10. That's basically going to give me either my first or last 10. Let's take uh, that and put that into the uh, rows here and we want to do it compute using and let's say we want to do it uh, for each country i need to move this to the left hand side and uh, we want to go down here and my table calculation isn't working right so let me uh, let's edit this table calc again and if we do that now okay so my table calc isn't working so i need to probably get rid of that uh, and uh, I can come back to that at another time. So, um, yeah, so that, that helps answer the question now of which are our top and, uh, and bottom 10. So uh, I've summarized that also, the calculations, into the data.world discussion. You can see that here. And I'll also post this uh, video in here as well. So hopefully you found that helpful, and hopefully I'll be back with another tip soon. Have a good day.